General Electric told shareholders on Thursday the embattled conglomerate expects 2019 earnings to be below what analysts anticipated as it continues to be plagued by problems in its power business. GE expects 2019 adjusted earnings between 50 cents and 60 cents a share, below the 70 cents a share Wall Street expected in a refint of survey. Initially lower in pre-market trading, GE shares rose 1.3% from Wednesday's close of $10.02 share. This was the first outlook from GE chairman and CEO Larry Culp, who was appointed in October. We have work to do in 2019, but we expect 2020 and 2021 performance to be significantly better, Culp said in a statement. GE revised the company's reported 2018 earnings and revenue lower. On an adjusted basis, GE lowered its 2018 earnings to $0.53 cents a share, down from $0.65 cents a share, on a GAAP, non-adjusted, basis. GE revised total 2018 revenue to $105, 2 billion from $113, 6 billion. GE said it is expecting its power segment to be significantly better but negative in 2020. Culp is working on turning around GE's fortunes. It remains focused on improving the company's cash generation, as well as cutting costs. Additionally, GE confirmed what Culp told investors on March 3. GE's industrial free cash flow in 2019 will be negative, with a key metric expected between flat and negative $2 billion. GE's industrial free cash flow was $4.5 billion in 2018. Free cash flow, money left over after a company pays for operating expenses and capital projects, is often used as a gauge of efficiency. GE's industrial free cash flow is a key measure watched by investors. GE expects industrial free cash flow to bounce back to positive in 2020. The company's debt overhang is also a focus for Culp. GE said the company remains committed to targeting a rating in the single A range. For heavily leveraged GE capital, the company said it is targeting a debt to equity ratio below four times. Culp is aiming to get GE Capital's net income to break even by 2021, the company said.